In this video, you'll see how to calculate the mean of a set of data presented in the frequency table. If you only have your raw data at the moment, it's very easy on a spreadsheet to calculate the mean anyway using the built-in features. But if your data is presented as a frequency table, um, then it's a slightly different technique. So we have here some survey data. Um, a person who observed 150 cars and counted how many people were in them. So uh, 81 of the cars had just one person, the number of cars with two people in was 39, and so on. So we have 150 cars in total. And we want to know the mean number of people per car. So how many people were in each car on average. It's really important here to know what we're working out. We want to know the mean number of people per car. That means we need to know the total number of people and the total number of cars. And we divide the former by the latter. So we've got that over here, that information already put in. We want to work out the total number of people, the total number of cars, and then we're going to divide the total number of people by the total number of cars. Well, the total number of cars is quite easy. It's the number down here. So we can fill that in. Now, rather than typing in 150, we'll use a formula. And um, we'll just type equals. It's a very simple formula. And just click on 150. And you'll see it just takes the value from whatever's in cell B7 and puts it in there. Uh, why would we do that rather than type 150? Well, say we've made a mistake with this data, or say we redo the survey, or say we add some more values in, we can just simply add them in. That will change our total, and this number will change as well at the same time. So that's why we use the formula. Now we need to know the total number of people. Well, that's a bit more tricky to work out. We know that 81 of the cars had one person in, so that's 81 people. And we know that because 81 lots of 1 is 81. So in here, we'll put a formula that works that out. So equals, because it's a formula, well, there were 81 cars. The star sign is the multiplication sign on a spreadsheet. That's the uh, shift eight button, or just the star sign on your, your numerical keypad. And then the number of people, one. Okay, and we'll enter that, and of course it comes up with 81. We'll just center that so it's a little bit tidy. Um, Similarly, we're going to say there were 39 cars with two people in, so we need uh, 39 times 2, which is 78, so that's 78 people altogether. Um, 39 cars, two people in each, 39 times 2 is 78. And we can copy those, we can type that formula in all the way down there. But much quicker, since we've entered it in our first cell already, is to just drag fill. So go back to your first cell, hover over this blue square in the corner, um, wait till your cursor changes to the black cross and then click and drag and the formula is copied all the way down. Now you might wonder why it's this, if it's the same formula isn't it just giving us 81. Well if we go back and have a look at the formula you'll see for 81 if you look up here um, it says B2 times A2. When we copied it down to the next cell it's changed. It's now B3 times A3. When we copy it down again, it's changed again, B4 times A4. So these are what we call relative cell references. That means that as we change the formula, copy the formula down, so it changes to reflect its new position, which is exactly what we want. So there were 81 people in these 81 cars, 78 in these 39. The 18 cars with three people in gave us 54 people. 10 cars of four people is 40. Two cars of five is 10. So now if we just total that up and click on the bottom there, we have a built-in formula here, sum, which adds up those rows. We press enter and it gives us our total 263. Now similarly, we go over here, equals, click on the cell with 263 and C7. As you can see, Google actually tells us what the number is going to be before we hit enter. Press enter. So we've got 263 people. I'll just remove the bold setting on that. In 150 cars, so the mean number of people per car is the 263 divided by the 150. So we're going to enter a formula to do that. Equals again, click on the 263. The forward slash is a division symbol on the spreadsheet. And then click on the 150, and it's already told us what our answer is going to be. We'll press enter, and there we go, 1.753 recurring. And if we want to reduce the decimals on that, um, we have some buttons here. Increase decimal places, decrease, so we'll decrease the decimal places um, and we'll have it to three significant figures, 1.75 people per car.